Hi, so this is the second video, part two, after I showed you how to previously make a round loom. This is what we made in the other video. So if you missed that video, go back and watch that one. And this shows you how you can make a loom with some basic materials from around your house. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to start knitting in the round. And like I showed you in the previous video, you can purchase your own looms. There's all kinds of sizes. They're from really big to really small. And here's another. And you could use these to make hats or blankets or whatever you wanted to make. We're just going to use this small one that we made. Um, okay, so we're going to start off with yarn. And here's one I did the other day. So I've already kind of got it going and I'm not done. And you can see it's starting to come through the bottom. Okay. So I'm going to start with this yarn and this loom. And you're going to start by... You're going to put the yarn through the center of the loom. And it doesn't matter how far, but just let it come out the bottom. Okay. Then you're going to start wrapping your yarn. Okay. So the easiest way I've shown people for is when you wrap it, make sure this loop right here faces the outside. So see, I'm going to do a few. You can see those loops. They all face outwards. Okay, now what I'm saying by that is don't do it, <laughs> I don't even know if I can do it wrong. Okay, yeah, don't do it that way. Okay, and the reason you don't want to do it this way, this is going to get really hard to pull the loops up and it's confusing because it looks like there's two strings there. You really just want the one, so don't do it with the loop facing in. Okay, so we're going to face, oh, this is weird doing the camera backwards. Okay. So we're going to loop it around each device or each straw or pencil or crown or whatever you use so the loops all face out. And I'm going to keep going till every uh, stick has one. Okay, So that's one round. Every stick has one and all the loops face out. Now I'm going to go back and do it one more time. And I'm just going to rotate it as I'm looping it around each stick. And I don't want to say straw because straws would not be good to use to make this loom. So, and these aren't straws. So I'm just going to stay a sticks. All right. So now once you have two loops on each uh, stick, now you're going to go back and start looping things. So you're going to pull, there's two loops. You're going to pull this bottom loop over the top loop and over the stick so that you only have one left. And you're going to rotate it. And you're going to do the next one. Pull the bottom loop over the top loop and over the stick. And you want to be careful that the top loop does not go over the stick. It should stay on the stick. So we're going to pull the bottom loop over the top loop and then let it fall. And we're going to rotate it. We have two loops. We're going to pull that bottom loop over the top loop and over the stick. And then we've got one more. So we're going to pull the bottom loop over the top one and the stick. Okay. And then just make sure as you go, you're pulling it through the bottom. And then you can push these down. And then you're going to loop it again. Okay. Okay. So I'm trying to make sure you all can see on the camera. All right. So then I'm going to loop it around each one. Remember that loop should face out. And then once you've got it looped around each one, again, you should have two loops on each stick. And you're going to pull that bottom loop over the top loop, but don't let that loop come off the stick. Pull that bottom loop over the top loop and the stick. And then you're going to rotate it. And again, you're going to pull that bottom loop over the top loop and over the stick. And push that top one down. And you're going to pull the bottom loop over the top loop. Nope, I didn't do it. Pull the bottom loop over the top loop and the stick. And every once in a while, you can take the string that's coming out the bottom and just pull it down. Okay, and then I've got a couple more. So bottom loop over the top loop and over the stick. And then push that loop back down. And I've got one more. Pull the bottom loop over the top loop and the stick. And then again, just pull that at the bottom. All right, so then push all your loops down again. So you see all the loops are facing out. Now something's starting to happen in the middle. That's good. All right, then we're going to take our string, our yarn, and we're going to wrap it again. 
You only want two loops on each stick at any given time. No more than two. Two will get confusing. I mean, more than two will get confusing. Okay, so I've got one right now. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to add another loop to each stick. Also something to think about, don't get too tight when you're wrapping these sticks. You got to have a little bit of go so you can pull these and move them. But don't get too loose where they start to get tangled. Okay, so again, you're pulling that bottom loop over the top loop and over the stick. And be careful not to get that top one over the stick. If it accidentally falls through, just pull it back and put it back on the stick. Okay, again, we're going to pull that bottom loop over the top loop and over the stick. Push it back down. Pull that bottom loop over the top loop and over the stick and push it down and keep rotating. Bottom loop over the top loop and over the stick. Bottom loop over the top loop and over the stick. And then pull that string at the bottom. And so everything's pushed down. And you've got each loop is sticking out. Okay. All right. Then you're going to keep doing this. And you're just going to repeat this process a bunch of times. And you'll eventually get the hang of this. And it goes fast and it gets easier. And you could even sit in front of TV and watch TV while you're doing this. It's really kind of meditative almost. Um, helps you to not think about other things when you just need a break from life in general. And you'll eventually not have to even look. You'll just kind of do it without thinking about it. Just always remember the bottom loop over the top loop. And then pull that string down and push these loops down. So they're down here. You don't want these loops to get way up here. So if these loops were all to be at the top, then you're going to run the risk of one of them coming off. And you don't want that to happen because then you'll lose part of it. Now, if that does happen, just put it back on and then slide these down so you don't lose your string. Again, you can pull that. Okay, and then you just keep going. Again, don't get too tight, but don't get too loose. You only want two loops on each stick at any one time. No more than two. And you're just pulling that bottom over the top without making that top one go off. Okay, and this is called knitting in the round. So you can also look up diagrams and other examples on the internet if you need another explanation or a different view to show you. And eventually, like this other one I have, it will start to come out the bottom. And you can make these as long as you want to. You could make a scarf with them. You could make um, a belt. You could make it, um, like if you were making a purse, this could be the the um, handle on the purse. I mean, there's, I don't know, there's so many different things you could do. You could also put wire in the middle and then maybe twist it and make it into a sculpture or something. Um, so the possibilities are endless. Okay, and I will do another video later to show you how to tie it off. But that is basically how to get going and how to do knitting in the round. So if you need to watch this again, hit play again and go through the steps again and make sure you understand what you're doing. Thank you. Y'all have a good day.